So, what does the erythema migrans lash, rash look like? Classically, it's a bullseye rash. And then they describe it as three to seven centimeters, but sometimes it's two centimeters. Sometimes it's elliptical. I've seen it 15 centimeters. If it's in the scalp, you wouldn't recognize it. If it's in different parts of the body, you wouldn't recognize it. It tends not to be itchy. It's not like a, a, an insect bite um, that is painful and it's not like an allergic reaction that is, that is itchy. Um, it's, a, it's an expanding circular rash, um, but it can mimic many other conditions. Uh, so I think this is important. Um, even if you don't treat this infection, uh, the rash goes away. So the fact that the rash has gone away does not mean that Borrelia has gone away. By analogy, people with syphilis often get a genital ulcer. Without treatment, the genital ulcer disappears. Does syphilis disappear? The answer is no. Um, you're at that stage, you'd have to depend upon the history, the sexual history, ask them if they've ever had an ulcer, an ulcer and then you'd have to do serology to help assist with the diagnosis. I think uh, syphilis and Lyme disease have a lot in common and I think we should um, think out of the box, especially um, as tick-borne infections are increasing in the European Union, uh, especially uh, hot spots in Scotland, uh, parts of Ireland, Eastern Europe. Slovenia has one of the highest instances of, of Lyme in the European Union, but you don't have to travel outside of the country to get a tick bite uh, from a tick that is infected with Borrelia.